Hello, I'm going to show you the easiest way to set up the front page of Metro Pro Theme by Studio Press. We're setting up the content area, not the sidebar or the footer. So first, you need to make a category called Featured. So if you go to Posts, Categories, and just type in there Featured and type in Featured there. So you'll end up with a category called Featured. Next, you want to make six blog posts, not pages, posts, assign featured images to all six posts, and then we're going to put them in the category of featured. So all you need to do, make posts, just like you would make any other uh, posts, we've got posts, add new, make a post, but when you write your post, first of all, in screen options, Make sure you can see categories and featured images. Those two tick boxes must be ticked. That's in screen options. They're probably already ticked, but just make sure. So, write your post, then scroll down the page, and choose the category we made called Featured. Put it into that category. And, where it says Featured Image, if you can't see it, just open the box. And you can, there'll be a link there that says add featured image. So add a featured image to each of the six posts. So now we've got six blog posts. Each post has a featured image applied to it. And the six posts are in the category of featured. So let's get started. This is what we're actually doing. This is the home page of the Metro Pro theme by Studio Press. And this area here on the demo has several featured images. It's got a really nice looking layout. And what we're going to do first, we're going to add the image and the top section of this page. So we need to go to our dashboard, dashboard, we're going to appearance, widgets. You can also do this in the customizer, but we're going to do it in widgets, appearance widgets. Now, with the Studio Press theme, the, the widget areas that appear on the front page are nearly always called Home. So we've got Home Top, Home Middle Left, Home Middle Right, Home Bottom. The other ones might or might not appear on the Home page. But all the one that says Home, we need to do now. So we click Home Top, open the widget area, scroll down the page, and we're looking for Genesis Featured Post widget. We've got Genesis Featured Page widget, Genesis Featured Posts widget. So we want Genesis Featured Posts widget, drag it into the home top widget area, and then we've got to uh, configure this widget. So put a title, I think this one's got a blue car, so that's what we'll call it. It's in a category of Featured, which is the category we made, and put the posts into you, you could call the category anything you want. You don't have to call it Featured. It's just easier. It's easy to remember if you call it Featured. We're going to show the post title. And we're going to show Content Limit. So make sure you get on this list. Make sure you choose Show Content Limit. Show Content Limit is the only one that actually lets you choose the amount of content to show. We're going to show 350 characters. Then... We're going to scroll down. Oh, we're going to show one post, number of posts to show one in this section. Scroll down a little bit. Show featured image. And we want to show a large featured image on the top image. It's called Home Top, 700 by 400. So that's the one we're going to choose for this one. We'll click Save. And we'll just see what's happened. If we go to our site. So now we've got, got the title, blue car. And we've got a little bit of text and the featured image we applied. That's the featured image. And this is the 350s of 350 characters of um, content we put in there. Now, to set up the other boxes on the front page, there's more boxes further down the page. We just need to do more or less what we've just done, but we've got to make the settings slightly different for each box. So we're going to do home, middle, left now, so it will appear here the left of the home page. So go back to widgets. We'll close that one because we've done that one. So home, middle, left. I want to put the 
Genesis featured posts widget in that box. And then we've got to configure it. Now I think this one's got a yellow van. I'm not sure. Let's try. Um, it's in the category of featured. Once again, they're all in the category of featured that we're using. We're going to show one post, but we're going to offset this one by one because there's one post before it. And if we don't offset it, they're both in the same category. So should we would show the same post twice if we don't offset that one there. We're going to show the post title and we're going to show show content limit with 165 characters of content will be shown. Scroll down the page, show featured image, and this one is home middle 332 by 190. Different themes will have different options here. Uh, we don't need to align it because the, the image is going to take up all the space available. Click save. We'll have a quick look at what our uh, what difference it's made to our setup. Now you see there, if we scroll down a little bit, we've got another post being displayed or a snippet of a post. So we do the next one. We'll close that one. So that's home middle left. We're going to do home middle right. Just the same. We need to drag Genesis featured posts widget into home middle right widget area. I can't remember what uh, <laughs> what post appears here. So we'll just put um, put a title there. Same category, it's featured. We're going to show one post. We're going to offset it by two because there are two posts before this one. We're going to show the post title, show the content limit, 165 characters. And we're going to show the featured image and it is home middle featured image, that size there. Click save. Then we're going to do the home bottom section. So we'll close that one. If we scroll up our page a little bit, we've got home bottom. Now this one will appear slightly different. What we've got there is these two posts side by side. What the next section, it will have posts that appear on top of each other. So we're going to do home bottom. And we need the Genesis Featured Posts widget. Drag it into the home bottom widget area. This this is, we'll put three posts. Uh, <laughs> just type a title, whatever title you want in there. It doesn't, it's, up, it's entirely up to you. We choose the same category again, because we put all our posts in the Featured category. So we know where to find them. Uh, we're going to show three posts this time. There'll be three that stack on top of each other. I'm going to offset it by three because there are three posts in front of these posts that we're doing. There's three posts further up the page. And if we didn't offset it, it would show those three posts instead of the next three posts. We're going to show the title. We're going to show, show content limit of 265 characters, or 260 characters. Scroll down the page, show the featured image. Now this one, we want the thumbnail size and it's going to be aligned left. So we'll save that and see what's happened. So this is what we had before, nothing below it. Refresh the page. And we've now got three more posts with the image. This is the featured image that we applied, uh, aligned left. This is the content limit. When we keep adding the content limit, this is the amount of content there, and it's limited. This bit is limited to 260 characters, and that's the title. We click the button that says um, include the title. This is the title we typed above. You've got two titles. You've got the widget title, which you type in there, and You've got the title of the post. When you write the post, it has a title, and that's the the uh, 
this here show post title. So let's have a quick recap of what we did. We made six posts, they're not pages, the posts, so we made six posts. We assigned featured images, these are all featured images. We assigned featured images to the, the six posts and we put all six posts into one category and we called the category featured. Then we used the Genesis featured post widget to display these posts on the front page. And we ended up with a front page similar to the one you see on the demo site from Studio Press. That's it. We'll move on.